Hey guys, so I decided to jump on so I can do like a chitty chat video just on my experience like you know through this um, bodybuilding journey. Now it has not been easy to be honest and whoever tells you that it's easy, it is not. Like I also found it very hard to vlog just like the day to day because you're just thinking about making sure you have your food, making sure you've done your workout, making sure that you've, you know, gotten your steps in, making sure that you've had enough sleep, you know, have had enough water as well for the day. And those are the things that are constantly playing in your mind. And then on top of that, you've got work, you know, and then when you come back, you're very tired. Like your social life is not there as well. But it's just one of those things like, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go out. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna stay in and if it need if it was a situation where I actually had to go somewhere and then I'll try to push my foods towards like the end that way when I come or if I come back then I can have whatever meal or whatever last meal that I had to have but this is a full-time job on its own guys like it's it's not easy it really is not easy now the amount of time that I had was obviously a short amount of time because the first coach that I had I was not happy with her so I ended up changing and I went with Jack which I which I should have just gone in the um, in the beginning anyway but um like we only had when he took me on it was probably about 14 going into 13 weeks so that was like literally not a lot of time to prep but I had to push myself so hard to get as much weight off and to be as lean as possible. So it's it wasn't it wasn't easy guy. It wasn't easy guys. Like it was so hard. And you know, I remember like you know, days where I'm just so exhausted and tired. And then you know you gotta get up and do it again. I'm just like, just get up, get it over and done with. And that's why I preferred going early in the morning because you know if I went later on, I'll be too tired to work out. So I'll rather like tire myself out in the beginning and then whatever that I have to do throughout the day, it just becomes a lot easier. And then as well, like there was times where I was struggling to get the steps in. So, you know, we have to, we have to come up with a strategy where I can try to get most of them in and then it was easier to get the rest of them throughout the day. So after I, you know, get up four in the morning, go to the gym, like get myself ready, obviously, go to the gym. So let's say I'll start working out maybe about 4.30 or just after 4.30 um, in the morning. And then I'm out of there at least by 6.30, 7 at latest. Then sometimes I'll make like a an order for like my food. So I'll pick it up on my way back home and then drop that stuff off and then I'll go for a walk. So I'll try to accumulate as much steps as I can um, throughout the day. And the idea was obviously to um, minimize fatigue. So obviously it was increasing all my steps um, every, not every week as such. So I had to, I maintained like a 12,000 um, steps per day for a couple of weeks. Then we increased it to like 13 and now I'm actually on 14,000 steps. So again, I try to get them all, most of them in the morning and then throughout the day, usually like, you know, if I'm cleaning up or, um, you know, walking up and about, like you end up accumulating those steps. So I was very happy um, with Jack and we you know, obviously got the results, even though it wasn't in, you know, a lot of time. Ideally, they say, I think you need about 20 weeks, but it also depends on the category that you're doing. And the one that I chose to do was figure because of my body type, I feel like it suits that category the most. So, yes, I'm actually very, very excited. I feel like I've done well um, in terms of prepping, but obviously now you know going through this process i can take like i guess some information from what i've learned now and then i can apply it next time that i do like the comp again because at least now i'm mentally prepared i know what um what i have to do and also because of the gym that i had like it's a great gym but like there's certain things that were sort of like 
missing in terms of equipment so you kind of had to improvise and you know gyms cost a lot so you kind of have to be in between the gyms because you know there will be one particular gym that has the equipment that you that you need and then the other one a dozen so at the moment like I was in between Planet Fitness the one that I go to now and then I'll go to um, Chilora which is the world gym and because my posing coach is there as well I this is another new posing coach um, he like I usually just train there and then I'll do like a posing session like um, after depending on what day I booked so yeah like look it's been it's been great so I'm, I'm excited I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna now that um, we're heading closer uh, Jack actually sent me the peak week um, plan so yeah so that should be fun <laughs> I mean like I'll show you exactly what it would be like I'll go through like as I start so I start on Wednesday so it'll be like 10 days out and then it starts like um, you know, some days are high, some days are low. I still have to, like, obviously drink my water. Um, cardio. There's some days where cardio will be limited. But, um, yeah, but overall, yeah, everything has been... It's been an interesting journey, that, that I can say. But all I can say is that if you do end up wanting to, I guess, compete... Just be aware that your social life <laughs> is gonna be is gonna be interrupted, and food-wise, you just need to stick to the plan. It's good that like you know once you get sick of like certain things, you can also like let your coach know, and then you can adjust a few things here and there. I was lucky in the sense that like I actually liked my food, so it didn't actually you know force me to actually you know binge on other things so I had we had I had a bit of everything so at least like I didn't feel like I was you know what I mean like you were left out and you can't eat anything at all I did have bread you know on some occasions um I did have some rice as well on some occasions so again everything had to be adjusted and those times where like my weight maintained and there wasn't any drop so then he'll make you know some changes um, so we could um, see some I guess a drop in weight but I started at 76 and a half kilos the heaviest I've ever been and you know during COVID everything was closed so everyone was just eating and then when I started doing the prepping and whatnot with the different coach I ended up getting rid of her guys like yeah I was just not happy and obviously being a first timer like you think you would get that attention but I wasn't getting it and it's like even when I tried to call I wasn't getting like the response I needed and then you know when it came to like posing as well like we hadn't even started like a posing session the foods that I was eating were absolutely horrible I hated them so much and I remember even to like the amount of foods I was getting it was just like meal after meal after meal like there was no snacks and I think I was probably sitting on over 200 grams of protein like it was just uh, like yeah it was not ideal and I think this person was more of a posing coach than a nutritionist and I think they should have just stuck to like their posing what they do not like take on like the nutrition side of things um, so then yeah that's why I ended up changing to like my new one he's absolutely amazing I think a few people now have signed up with him because obviously they were so impressed with the results but again the results will you only get the results if you put in the work so I feel like there's people where like you know they want to do it but then they start doing it and then they feel like they're not seeing results and then they end up quitting like you just got to keep going when you keep going that's when the results will start showing you can't quit when you're like two weeks in like not everyone's going to get the results that they need in two weeks it's one of those things that you have to be consistent with and then just keep pushing and pushing until um you know you keep getting the results that you want which is like me like i you know anyone that knows me knows that i put in a hundred and ten percent in everything that i do i always push myself past my limits and um, hence why I always get the results 
that I get. So if you're wanting to do something like this, all I can say is stick to the plan, stick to your workouts and keep, keep the consistency. That's how you will get the results. So yeah, I'll leave Jack Cooper's um, details. If you obviously are interested, like he's based in Brisbane and I'm in Sydney. So everything is like, all my workouts are on the app and I see it and then he'll call me just to check in to see how I'm going. Um, and then like, yeah, so everything is just, yeah, it's on the app. You just need to follow it. If you have any questions or if you're struggling with something, like you know obviously you can shoot him a message and then he can give you like a facetime call or a call just to like explain but usually once the workouts are in there the great thing about it is that there is videos to show you that particular exercise and how to do it so you won't feel it as if like even if you're new you won't feel like oh i don't know how to do it or am i doing it right because you've got that video so it's like um something that will guide you um with your workout so i just kind of thought like let me just share like my experience i've been very tired and i was sick as well in between but it was just like a cold and what else like i was just hungry because the calories were getting lower and lower and now like i'm they're quite low right now so <laughs> I'm just like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry all the time and it's like I'm just burning it very quickly. So what I've decided is like I always try to spread my food out and there's sometimes where I'll have maybe like two meals in the beginning and then just wait it out and just drink heaps of water and then I'll have maybe another two later on and then maybe towards like when it's closer to the end of the day then I'll have like like my two main meals. So it's really up to you how you want to structure like your meals. Like some of the meals I kind of combine them together so it's like a big meal. So it doesn't feel like, um, so I don't get hungry. So if I leave it towards the end, at least when I eat it, I feel like I'm, you know, quite full. So my favorite right now what I'm eating is the oats. So I use the, uh, what are they called? The red tractor oats. Oh my God, they're amazing. And with the rule one protein powder like mixed in there it tastes like porridge and then like a chocolate porridge and then put peanut butter in there as well like that's literally my favorite so I always leave that for the last like the last last thing to eat because I love it so much and then I do have like the rice crackers as well which I have I love those with like jam on them so that's what I'm having um, so yeah, like people that feel like, oh, I can't, you, you're not going to be able to eat. I mean, obviously there's certain foods that you can't eat, but like things like rice crackers, you can eat that. You can still have jam. Everything is like in moderation. So it doesn't feel like you're restricted from, you know, all the foods. And I think people want to think bodybuilding is like, oh, you can't eat this. You can't eat that. You know, you can't eat bread. You can't. You know you can't eat rice or whatever it is like i was eating rice again everything was measured i was eating bread as well at some point i was eating crumpets as well at some point i had nutella as well um in my diet at some point so it's just a bit of everything it wasn't like a lot so if i had nutella it was like 10 grams you know or if i had peanut butter it would be like 15 grams if i had jam it was like 10 grams so everything was measured or everything is measured so yes I'm so excited um, right today I'm actually going to go get my no I actually ordered my my suit my posing suit but the lady's actually in Quakers Hill so I'm gonna go there because I have an appointment with her at 12 I can't show you the costume yet so you'd actually have to see it on the actual day but uh, I had to go in Oh, I have to go in so I can try it on just to make sure everything is sitting well because obviously I have dropped quite a lot so yes very exciting guys so um, I'll show you what I look like my physique what we've produced <laughs> and then obviously on the day I'm actually going to go get a tan on the 14th and then I'll try to, I'm getting my nails done and everything. I've got the jewelry that I bought that I'm going to be wearing. I've decided to go with my hair like a short bob. And you guys know I like my bobs. Because only when I'm posing, I want everything to be seen. So I don't want 
long hair that's going to cover like my definition i feel like sometimes when you have long hair it's just too much and because we're going to be quite um glossed up as well and you've got your tan you've got your oils like too sticky like i just don't want hair like just everywhere so it just made sense for me to have the bob and because my i would have done the short hair but only because i've got a haircut and usually i would bleach it so it's fresh and then have a clean cut I won't bleach it because I've already done it like a while ago, so I'd have to wait. So the only option was to go um, short. So, yes, I'll show you my physique. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and